Hi guys, it's Selena here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about some holiday inspiration and how you can buy gifts, thrifted or secondhand. This video is not really just for holiday shopping. Um, timing wise, it made a lot of sense, but this is something that I frequently do throughout the year. Um, I'm always thrifting. I'm always shopping out there for the fabrics that we use for the clothing that we make, but I just don't look at fabric. I also check out the home goods. I check out the toy section. I'm always in the notion section or paper section of my thrift store or my antique store because I'm always looking out for gifts that I could give friends and family throughout the year. I'm gonna go out shopping. I will show you how I shop for last minute gifts. We're gonna hit two different stores today. We're gonna start off at Remainders Creative Reuse in Pasadena. This place is such a gem. It is my favorite place for buying fabric and craft supplies, notions, and so much more. I especially love how organized everything is. And because I come here quite frequently, I know exactly the area that I want to look at first. A great gift idea is to buy vintage or used sewing patterns. This is a wonderful gift to give a friend who may have children and want to create some clothes or maybe some crafts for their kids. I just love looking at all the accessory patterns as well. And it's quite fun to discover new styles that might be a great gift to give a friend or loved one. Once you've found the perfect pattern, you can then bundle that with a vintage or dead stock fabric. These two finds are quite amazing. To complete this gift bundle for the sewing enthusiast, make your way to the Notions bin. A basic sewing kit is the most thoughtful gift you could give. Another great gifting idea are these make-it-yourself kits. Like this wall decor that already comes with everything you need. There are also quilting kits and I just got so excited when I found this cruel vintage stitch kit. Another exciting find was this knitting kit. It comes with basic knitting instructions as well as a variety of projects. And of course you can bundle that knitting kit with yarn and they have plenty of that here in a variety of sizes and colors. This store is truly magical and we've already been doing such a great job so far. Let's continue and shop around some more. This bandana bin piqued my interest, so I started to dig in. Bandanas always remind me of our friends at Psychic Outlaw, but I love gifting bandanas because you can also use it to wrap presents. Speaking of wrapping presents, always check out the wallpaper and craft paper supply area because you never know what creative ways you'll find to wrap any present for any occasion. And lastly, always check out the book section for amazing vintage options. Make sure to stick around to the end so I can show you the full haul. Let's head over to our next stop. I hope you guys love that store because Remainders, I think it's one of those places that is such a gem. Um, and I love going there because just like any thrift store, uh, there's a lot of things to hunt for and really depending on when you go. But I have one more stop um, and this is the Salvation Army Boutique and it's in Pasadena and it is behind the main store. It's on Waverly Drive. A lot of people miss this place. I had lived here for over 10 years and I didn't even know that this place existed in, until only maybe a handful of years ago. You might miss it if you didn't know about it. So let's go in there and see what we can find. This store is a little bit more curated than the regular stores and the pricing can definitely be a lot higher. But I've found gems here in the past, so let's give it a try today. Just as you walk in, you will be greeted by shelves with glassware and home decor. And of course, there's nothing more festive than some margarita glasses. My niece just got into her first apartment and as a housewarming gift, I thought this punch bowl would have been so perfect. I think the design is just absolutely gorgeous, but unfortunately, some of the coloring was starting to peel off. It's also missing a serving ladle. Another great idea is to repurpose these vintage brandy bottles into maybe a vase or a candle holder. This beautiful carved wood also caught my eye as the perfect candle holder. 
And for only 10 American dollars, I do not understand why people still shop at Home Goods. And this ceramic jester sitting on the moon holding a star is so festive, but it doesn't always have to be a Christmas ornament. It could be year round. For $25, you could get this great toucan tray. The wood is absolutely beautiful and it could be great for keys or jewelry. For friends that love to propagate or keep an herb garden by the window, these set of tiny bottles are just perfect, and I believe you can probably scratch off the cactus if that's not for you. This chessboard set is such a pretty find. It's made of stone and it is $25. There are what looks like hand etching of this fish motif, and even the chess pieces are also made of stone. It's so fancy and I thought it was so luxurious. That would be a beautiful gift for any chess lover in your life. So in the back of the store, all the way past the clothes are furniture and bedding. To be honest, I always peruse this area when I come, but I've never found anything interesting in this section. But I definitely have purchased furniture from this store and furniture might be one of those gifts that not a lot of people give or receive. I have definitely gifted them to my mom before and she's always loved it. It was swooning over these two pink armchairs and of course they were sold, which means always come early. One thing I always look for when I go to thrift stores are trunks and vintage luggage. They make perfect gift boxes and something that can be used after the present's been open. This particular one is so cool. It has a bunch of stickers already on it and it would be perfect for a kid's little trinkets and treasures. I always check out the tie section for vintage ties. They're usually fabulous and made out of 100% silk. Make sure you're reading the labels. And of course, as I was walking out, I spotted the most adorable vintage coin sorter. You know, the perfect person to gift this to and I could not leave the store without it. Okay, let's head home and I will show you my haul. Let's go through what's in the bag. Okay, let's go through the stuff that we got at Remainders first. Um, when I was leaving, I actually found these really cool um, gift card holders. This one is just kind of a, a pretty uh, box um, with a bow. And then there's also a happy birthday one, which I know it's not really anybody's birthday, but I always end up giving gift cards for people during their birthday. So it's always nice to have these handy. And they were like 25 cents each. So speaking of wrapping, the beautiful wallpaper that I found uh, where all the wrapping and paper uh, supply was. This is such a fun way um, to wrap a present in and I think it's just so pretty. And also it doesn't even have to be a wrapping paper. It could just be something too where you frame it and um, make it into artwork. I've seen a lot of people frame wallpaper before to make art. Um, and I think that's such a great idea. It doesn't have the adhesive in the back of it, which has always been an issue for a lot of people. People always said that it's not such a good idea to use these because it might stick to your gift. But I've never found that to be a problem, especially if you pre-wrapped the gift before that. But um, this one doesn't have any adhesive in it. The next thing I want to show you is just a gift bundle for someone who might be interested in learning how to sew or someone who's already a Savvis sewist and um, likes to be handy and crafting and sewing, this would make for a very special gift. It's very personalized and it's just super thoughtful. For starters, you can do a mending kit for someone who's just starting to learn how to sew or doesn't have the sewing supplies. So with that mending kit I was showing you, that could just be one part of a gift. Or for someone who maybe has started to take on sewing, put a gift bundle together that will complete a project for them. Whether it's purchasing a pattern online, like from us, you can purchase pattern from our website and you can gift that, but you don't have to stop there. Along the way, you could give them the kit or the tool that they need to complete their sewing project. So I was showing you all um, in that area. I found this is so cool for $2 industrial chalk and um, a Savis Sewists may already need a box of these. This will go in my studio because I need them all the time. And it is um, just a beautiful box. Um, I don't know if it's vintage or not, but 
you can see it has a lot of chalk in there and I can always add a few of these in every color to the sewing kit. The other thing that I got for $3, it already came with the container, is just again your very basic um, tools or supplies. And in here you already have um, some straight pins, you already have a pin cushion which is awesome to put your pins in. And it also has a thimble um, that you can use when you are mending or doing needlework. Um, it also already came with tiny, uh, these tiny foldable scissors as part of your sewing kit bundle. So in terms of pattern, I actually ended up purchasing the accessories pattern. I really am interested in making one of these baseball caps um, for the summer. We might be offering that as a an option um, for the springtime, but uh, that would also make for a really great gift for someone who loves accessories and wanna make their own accessories. I also picked up this jacket, which is an unlined jacket. And how cute is that style? I think that that would be a great project for someone who might be a little bit more advanced in sewing. I also picked up these two dress patterns. This would be so great to give someone and then provide the fabric for them. So when I found this bolt of fabric, I literally couldn't contain myself. It is so pretty. It's 100% like rayon acetate. I definitely feel like it is vintage, um, but look at how beautiful. It's just such a beautiful piece of fabric. And how cool would that be to bundle that? That would be a really cool dress style in this fabric or vintage style, but you could bundle those together Put your sewing kit in there, tie it up in a bow, and that makes for a super sweet holiday present. And for my brother-in-law that I was telling you about, I don't think he's gonna be watching this video, honestly, so I feel like I can share with you guys. So my brother-in-law um, is a veteran and he used to serve in the army, and I thought that he would really love um, this bandana. And I, I'm thinking about wrapping my other presents um, using this bandana. So I think that that would be great. And then of course, my find of the day, I'm so jealous, is this vintage coral needle craft by Par Paragon. It already comes with um, all the thread that you need. So he's a postman. And I think that that would be super sweet for him to, to do on his off time. He, um, he loves crafts. So I think this is something that he will really enjoy. And I'm so excited, it's really coming together. I wanna quickly show you some of these books that I had thrifted throughout the year and um, they would make perfect gifts. Um, this book is absolutely gorgeous. It is a complete family sewing book. Um, and I love this book, it's just so beautiful. And when I found this, it was in such great condition. The thing is I lucked out on this book but you can probably look this up on eBay. This would make such a great gift for anybody who is a beginner sewist or someone who is interested in expanding their sewing library. And I think that that would make for a perfect gift. And you can bundle that again with a mending kit, just like I showed you earlier. Another book that I had thrifted earlier this year is called The Complete Guide to Sewing Again and it's by Reader's Digest. Um, and this one I ended up picking up at Savers for $5. And this one has a very comprehensive and illustrated list of um, anything that has to do with sewing. How to successfully sew on a collar, how to make a buttonhole. I think these are such great books for anybody who is interested in expanding their sewing knowledge. And then last but not least, the only thing I bought is Salvation Army Boutique. As you can see, the Salvation Army Boutique is just a fun place to go to if you're ever in the area. But um, I like going there because they do have a very good creation of furniture and really good home decor. The clothes are also quite great, but you have to go often because you never know what you're gonna find. And um, I bought one thing at the store and it is absolutely precious and amazing. I need to clean it up. Um, and it is a change sorter and it is vintage. And you can see the labels for each coin um, as shown in here. 
I can't wait to give this to the person I'm thinking about gifting it to. I'm not going to say who it is quite yet, but um, I'm so excited because this person really needs it. Please make sure to comment down below and tell me what your favorite gift item was. What ideas do you have for last minute gift gifting this holiday season? And let me know if you have other tips and tricks when you're out there shopping secondhand and thrifting. For more videos on sustainable living and making upcycling magic, plus buying secondhand and living that eco sustainable lifestyle. So please do me a favor and make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel. I cannot wait to see you on the next one and happy hunting. Bye.